What are you up here? Some fucking ruins. Yeah, build a bridge. There's an ember way around it, so I'm just like, fucking take my wood. Was there? Oh, there was shit. actually a way around it. Yeah. Uh, well, since we built it, we got to use it. <laughs> Don't let a good thing go to waste. Hey, look, another cave for Ike to explore. <sighs> I was discussing some matter with Gascon when a scout approached. His blood streaked uniform revealed the matter to be urgent, so the Queen cut short her conversation and requested a report. We were scouting, milady. And we found a cave entrance. Small scattering of elves guarding it. But we took them right out. Hmm. Gascon scratched his chin. I'd wager ten Novigrad crowns there are more Scoyatels squirreled away inside. We strike before they know we've snuffed out their guards. We might well catch them by surprise. But we must act quickly. I mean, yeah. Then let us act. Gather some men and prepare them for an attack. But keep quiet. The Lyrians crept into the cave. They moved carefully, noiselessly even, avoiding notice for quite a while. Nevertheless, elven warriors soon came pouring out of a side cavern. It was a trap. Oh, it was a trap. So, we're fucking. We're screwed. Nah, dude, we're good. It's a standard battle. I've never had to do one of these. <laughs> And we don't want to play the wombo combo. Yeah, I'm just holding on to it for the end turn. Gotcha. I think that's one thing that really trips me up about this game is how you hold cards and how the turns work. We ought to help one or the other. Oh yeah. The actual fuck are these hacks? Yeah, he just like started with a card that was already fucked. And that's a one turn cooldown? That's like really good. Mm hmm. Just gonna oh, play a fuck ton of healers. Oh, my little day. Holy we shit. We ought to help one or the other. This oh, is actually an axe. This is actually axe. I don't think I can beat it. I honestly think I take the loss. Do we see if he summons any more healers or give him one more turn for his cooldown? Yeah. Sure. Um Is on. Oh, he just straight up passed. Must be something of value to them here. I love the wombus. 
Oh, I didn't use enough guards. One got destroyed. Feels bad. Oh, Melitale. Fuck you and your healers, homie. We ought to help one or the other. They're just gonna heal each other. That's actually crazy. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh, I win, so thank you. Oh, he's gonna burn more of my cards, though. Fuck! He's so smart. <laughs> he's building my deck. Oh shit. The Wombus. He's actually a genius. He milled my deck. It's insane. I'll fight to my last breath. Oh, it is here. Oh, no. Nothing personal, I assure you. As ordered. Probably want to try to focus that healer. You can. Tell me you jest. We must trust each other.
I need. Doggo! I mean, baby. This is <laughs> Elven land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. Oh, my little day. All right, doggo, if you're going to eat one, on eat the bear. Oh, you can use what's her face's ability. Her majesty is exceptional. Greetings. What is it? Give me a time. We ought to help one or the other. Oh, it fucking worked. I can't fucking believe that it actually worked. Getting to work. <laughs> if anyone asks, you've not seen me. Oh, you can't use that on yourself. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. I mean, that makes it slightly less overpowered, I guess. Thing about slings, they hide well. Well, you should leave the one lady up there, and that way you, you can use it to kill or use Maeve to kill it. Or that, that'll work too. Yeah, sorry, I was, I was trying to think of synergy for that crushing trap, but maybe I should have just not oh, used no. it. Death 
didn't work. Why? Okay, so you can't use you can't use bear on a on theirs. <laughs> Apparently. I had no idea that's how that worked, but <laughs> apparently that's how that works. We'll catch them all. I really wanted to break 200. I just can't seem to do it, Matt. <laughs> I'm not good enough. To the very end. When the Lyrians broke the Elven ranks, Me was convinced their foe would retreat and regroup. But to her surprise, the Scoia'tael fought to the bitter end. She concluded there must have been something truly valuable Welcome back, Welcome back. in that cave. As Me entered the next Mama. chamber, her nose Mama. caught the stink of blood. Pus and urine. Just played some Gwent. The elves were using the cave. Didn't as mean a to hospital. kill my friends. Wounded if I'm not better the at this game this they time, no attempt next Friday. Nor to beg, Where's nor the... to make peace with the gods. They may... Ooh, you had both of them, so. Whispered Rayla. You saw what the Scoia'tael are capable of. What was I wearing? What they do my to pants? humans. They would have no uh, pants, mercy. Raynard, usually calm, could not hold back and cut go take a warm shower. Nice. That we it's the not even cold. You in a whisper, slowly emphasizing her words. I suggest you leave. Leave me and my men. Here, one sec. I won't have the chat open for a moment. F you. One, one sec. Stop yelling at me. It is 88 degrees out right now. Hey. What are you talking about? It's not cold. <laughs> hmm, what do you think we should do? That was a very... A lot of effort in that joke. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's I mean, 41 here. I would say just let her have a heyday. Let her kill him? It's up to you. That's what I would do. Fuck the elves. Meave swallowed with difficulty. The rancid clammy air caught in her throat. We'll await you at the top, Rayla. The queen moved towards the exit, keeping close to the walls. After a long hesitation, Rayla oh, followed. Rayla. Oh, hey, the wallet's right next to me. Thanks. Is that what you were looking for? I still don't know where the key If you were looking for the wallet, it's right next to me. Yeah, no problem. I definitely didn't have the keys. I never once touched them. I just started it. You had them. These bomb just got the, uh... Was it the A6? No, it's a Q5. Oh, Q5. That Audi Q5. And oh, nice. Actually, fucking an amazing car. Audis are insane. Also, hella expensive. Yeah. But we got to uh, take it to go pick up food last night. And I was all about it. It's like 0 to 60 in 2.2 or something. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Pretty, pretty fast car. What the fuck is happening? I, I'm just watching, dog. Oh, no. I'm the. It was like, do you want to 
look at this sign? I was like, no, let me have the wood. And it's like, oh, you want to look at the sign, though. Have you scouted in a while? Huh? Jesus Christ. I figured it was all Neves past the stuff that you had already scouted, from. but unlike well, just be sure. In the area, not a yeah. single human dwelled here. Instead, only elves and dwarves sat on its porches, and stared at the passing Lyrians with clear aversion. Not a single greeting was extended to their allies in arms. Not a it's single. It's eighty-seven and raining. The only sound was that of snapping shutters and slamming doors. Something's amiss, Rayla said, furrowing her brow. Order nope. a halt, my lady, Discord? and give me a moment to Yo, look what's around. Up? Parsec. Parsec ripped. Uh, gotcha. I mean, should we let Rayla look around? Uh, I don't want to lose Rayla. She's yeah. like her fucking... Yeah, fuck it. You have a quarter of an hour, Meave said as she dismounted. And not a moment more. The queen sat in the shade. Monday's going to be warmer. Tree. She shut her eyes and listened to the chirping of crickets in the grass, savoring a rare moment of relaxation. Yeah, Monday is going to be 55. Within moments, one of her It's going to be sick. That's short weather. Sergeant Nidamir. Tears streamed down his weathered, scar-pocked face. No. A lady, I... come with us, please. You'll need to see this for yourself. The sergeant led her to the still smoldering remains of a mill. Her soldiers were picking things out from the ashes. When she got closer, she realized in horror they were human skulls, some no larger than apples. Tell the villagers to gather by the well, the queen said in a strained voice. Or be executed. The elves and dwarves attempted no denials. They admitted Eldane and his Scoia'tael had helped them round up all the humans in their village, march them into the mill, then set it aflame. They stole our lands, defiled our names, beat us, murdered us in bloodthirsty pogroms, shouted one of the dwarves. They had it coming to them. Got their come up on side, say. Meave was no stranger to the cruelty of war, but the enormous evil she found in Iconfurt overwhelmed her. She felt a terrible weight on her chest, found it hard to draw breath, and her head spun. She felt she could hear the cries of humans being burned alive. Ma'am, whispered Raynard, you must... You must pronounce something. Or simply turn the matter over to me, Your Grace. Rayla interrupted. I know what to do. It's it won't freeze weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> that's something. So what do we do here? I mean, they did admit that they helped in rounding up tons All the of humans people to to be marched to their death. That's accomplice in my book. And what's the accomplice to murder? Murder. <laughs> or sorry what's the uh the punishment for accomplice murder it's i think death row isn't it so it's texas there's a couple states that if you're an accomplice you get the same yeah or it's like 25 years minimum mm -hmm. fuck these people don't even live 25 years that's like three times their their lifespan yeah so it's pretty much death yeah, why would you escort them to the nearest city? I don't know. Do as you see fit, Meave said quietly, gaze fixed on the ground. The queen snapped her reins and rode out of the village. We chose she one evil in favor of another. That's what she said. Yeah, it always says that when we have to make a, a tough decision. Oh, shit, mm. whoops. Well, we don't know what happened. I'm well, assuming she That hurt our, our morale. <laughs> when, when has it not hurt our morale to do anything? 
anytime we get good morale, our fucking people end up dead anyway, so. Mm -hmm. That's actually fucked up, though. Yeah. It says there's like a path way down that way, but nothing that way, I guess. Yeah. Like over by here? Yeah. Like. We never found that chest either. Either of those Well, there's two either. chests, yeah. I've been looking. There's nothing there. One was like in a house. Yeah. Which was in a fence by itself. And the other one had a rock and then two trees. I don't like see either of those spots. Yeah. What? <laughs> <sighs> What was that? Meave asked Reynard, who rode beside her. A scream. A man's, I think. Need to investigate. Gather a few men and mm, we ride. Sounds like a bitch Quickly. to me. The screaming came from a small settlement. When Meave rode up to its farmhouses, her horse reared and neighed in terror. Oh, uh, we want to call it in like 15 minutes? Swarmed all around. Sounds good. The monsters surrounded a few Nilf guardians who were trying, with no success, to chase them off with torches. Reynard swept his gaze over the carnage and said, They cannot stave them off, and their armor is too heavy for them to flee. So if we save them, we might be able to, like, get information from them? Probably. Our morale already sucks. Yeah. Meave was uncertain at first how to act. But when she saw ghouls snatch one of the Nilf guardians and rip him to shreds, she drew her sword. No one deserves such a death. Not even a Nilf guardian. Follow me. All right. Short and battled extra cards. Okay. Can't I just have my deck though? <laughs> No, nope, we got the Wombas. I think rescue is kind of like a strong word. I'll fight to my last breath.
Yo, what if you can't move them back? All right. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Say it again. <laughs> Oh, it didn't actually move you back. It's kind of lame. The Murloc wannabes. Let the ghouls eat them, I say. Silence. The queen has made her decision. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. As ordered. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. I smell a leak. Doggo ate something. Yeah, it ate the Matrodon, which is fine. So that won't actually work, I don't think. No, I think it has to be like a card, like a person thingy. Shall 
Never have a storm knock out one of your teeth. You, you can get one of the hags. Oh god, it ate the other one. It's a hungry dog go. Tell me you jest. Still has a lot of cards. Yeah. Shit is happening. Yeah. So many of those rot fiend thingies. <laughs> it worked, your grace. The monsters flee. Damn, dog. That was crazy. The Lyrians and the North mm. Guardians fought the monsters side by side, a united force. But when the last necrophage fell, the soldiers immediately returned to their respective divisions. Meave's soldiers looked at the invasion. Your Grace. Oh, whoops. I know you have no reason to trust us, but we are not enemies. We hail from Geso, a land Nilfgaard conquered and made its province. We did not ask to fight in this war by force. We were conscripted. The soldier hefted his sword by the blade and handed it, hilt first, to the queen. We yearned for a way to desert, and we have found it. Your grace, allow Fuck. us to join your army. Um, no, it's absolutely not. The empire's defeat every bit as much as you do. <laughs> absolutely not. Matt. Yeah. Refuse. Eve walked up to the dog and took the sword from his hand. Well worn. Absolutely. Tell me uh, how not. did it receive this chip? Chopping wood? Carving a roast? The soldier gave no reply, but merely dropped his gaze. That was enough to convince the queen his conscience was not clean. Leave this place. And should I ever Oh, we even tested again, him. Do not count he on failed. My mercy. The deserters took their things and disappeared silently into the trees. Meave turned to the rest of her soldiers. She could tell they were pleased with her decision. Hell yeah, neutral baby. Oh, all the way positive. What? We've never seen positive in this area. <laughs> oh, and we got like a little emergency uh, thingy. Oh, and then we could even go even more positive. Oh, is that a is unicorn, that a unicorn over there? <laughs> it looks like a unicorn, doesn't it? Jinx. Yeah, it does. Be mad at the same time. Is that a unicorn? <laughs> I 
guess we can't go that way. Well, we can go. Yeah, go the long route. It's a unicorn you can loot, Matt. I know. I mean, like, is there a way that we can get to the unicorn? Yeah, up to the left. Left, left. Oh, we gotta go oh, yeah. hell long. Yep. <laughs> All right. Do we want to do this last question more or the exclamation point and then call it? Uh, yeah. At least then, hopefully, when we come back, we'll be like, oh, yeah, this is where we were. Mm -hmm. Trying to get to the unicorn. Maybe. Maybe it will be like that. I still don't know where these fucking chests are, though. Yeah, I've been looking. Yeah, we know you're we, there. We killed like, you. I could have teleported up here. The fuck? <laughs> oh shit, it's saving. Saving's never a good sign. Meave was riding at the head of the caravan when Black Raylo rode up and leaned towards her. She spoke in a whisper, a hand shielding her mouth. Your Grace, I have something important to tell you. Yet you can't show anything to miss. Look straight ahead. Make no sudden moves. Meave nodded slightly and waited for her to continue. Scoyatel scouts in the woods, watching us. Eldane's near here somewhere, preparing his attack. So what do you propose? Asked the queen, her gaze fixed on the road ahead. Let him catch us out in the open. We're sitting ducks. But there are ruins nearby, an elven cemetery. We can find cover behind its walls. Meave was accustomed to discussing important decisions with all her advisors. But she knew there was no time for consultation now. She had to trust Black Rayla's advice, and so, without further delay, issued the appropriate orders. Meave's retinue reached the cemetery before dusk. Her soldiers knocked down the marble statuary and piled them into barricades, while scouts took up positions outside the walls to watch for the foe's approach. When the sun set, the woods exhaled the heat of the day, and a thick fog soon arose. Out of the mist stepped Reynard scouts, bound and pushed forward by elves. One of the Scoyatel, a sturdy elf with long hair, stood by the cemetery wall and cried, I am Eldane. I would speak to Meave. I am she. Speak. Cadmil and Kedva Genved, Rena. This place is of great import to us, the Enshe. I would tell you of its monuments, of the weeping Ensevern, carved by three generations of sculptors, or of the alabaster relief of King Kellad, so beautiful even the birds would gather to admire it. But I see your men have found our memorials, and in the way of Dwan, destroyed them without a second thought. I cannot say this comes as a surprise. You've already shown the gods molded you from the basest of matter. You murdered injured soldiers who no longer posed you any threat. You agreed to lynch an entire village without trial. Get to the point, Eldane. So I shall. As you certainly know, the necropolis is surrounded. Soon, there shall be a battle. I wonder if we let those people go. If but he had been a... he might be a bro. Mm. To fight in a cemetery. So I ask you to come out into the open. And surrender our tactical advantage. I suspected a matter so impractical as respecting the dead would mean nothing to you, Duan. So I submit one more argument. The lives of the soldiers you sent to spy. If you leave the cemetery, I shall set them free. They will fight at your side. If not, I shall kill them, here and now. Milady, don't listen to him. He can't be trusted. Rayla, those are good men. Fabian, get it, Matthias. They've served me for a decade. They'd crawl through seven hells for their queen. They do not deserve such a death. Hmm, should we leave the cemetery? Yeah, we can kick his ass no matter what. I 
accept your conditions. Your grace, I beg you. Soldiers, we march into the... Eldane clasped his hands oh, in Then, in a swift, almost careless movement, slit the throat oh. of the You should have listened to Rayla, your grace. We elves truly cannot be trusted. Spawner! Motherfucker. What a bitch. What a fucking dick. Let's fucking go, asshole. Oh, come on, game. Don't do it this turn. Give me what I need. We need the wombo combo. Oh! There's one part of the wombus. Oh, fucking let's go. I warned you. Now we've lost the advantage. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Grace. I take full responsibility. This will spawn my dog, so she won't be the lowest. You'll never take me alive. That's actually crazy, though. Yeah. That seems. So she is now the lowest. <laughs> Got business for me. That actually fucking sucks. Yeah, suck it, bitch. That's not what I wanted. Fuck. Company. He's later. Duh. He has two turns left. Ah. <sighs> 
Getting to work. Nothing personal, I assure you. I was hoping you'd say that. Still got Reynard. We must trust each other. Should you take out that cutthroat? Yeah. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Tread on us! See who is weak. Shit, it's the cutthroat motherfucker.
I smell a leak. You're bad. You're bad. Will that trap hit the front row? No, the back. Hmm. Majesty is exceptional. I mean, we got to save our man, you know. One boat. Tell me you jest. The chase is on! Blatter! Fina! Oh shit. Defeat Elden. Easily. They should put easily right there. I was just concentrating, sorry. No, he's like, why aren't you talking? Unit was destroyed. And yeah, I was doing a lot of math in my head, seeing if defeated. there was any better ways and to do die. anything, but I don't really think so. To die in a cemetery. Something amusing in it. We you didn't die in a cemetery, dog. We yeah. went outside you because we were being cool and you're a fucking dick. I am surprised you are in the mood for humor. Sorry, this guy is an asshole. All my tears I shed years ago. My family killed in a massacre aimed at eradicating our race senseless utterly senseless Reina we have lost me my Scoia'tael and Shay we shall vanish from this earth your grandchildren will know us in fairy tales mm, that's not entirely true because there's Scoia'tael in Witcher 3 and this happens before the Witcher Three, so obviously you didn't get eradicated. I, I deceived you, <laughs> but lay my bones to rest in a grave. Let me part this world with. Oh please! How dare he! Look, he laughs, Your Grace. This dog should rot in an open field. I agree. Fine, I'll go now. The willow, the many strung from it. Yeah, this is the one we want, right? Yeah. Mercy you don't deserve, Eldane. I shall leave you where you lie. Oh, sorry. Where rats will gnaw at your bones. <laughs> In your boots, I would do the same. Vasse derad. Ep again. Meave gave the order to march that very night, not waiting for the day to break. 
She wished to leave behind as soon as possible the Moulderwood and the rotting elven remains littering Kedva Genvit Cemetery. Black Rayler rode at the head of the caravan to the Queen's right, a satisfied smile playing on her lips. Oh, we got the Mandrake. Sick. It looks like a very ugly three-breasted lady. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. A pregnant three-breasted lady. Mm -hmm. A fuck ton of gold. So much gold. That was actually a fuck ton of gold. See what this mandrake root is all about. Play a random bronze unit from each deck. Eh. Yeah, that doesn't seem great. Oh yeah, we didn't look at the ointment. Heal an ally, strengthen it by ten. That seems decent. So it's strength and not boost. What is the uh, thunder, the potion say? Boost. That's actually really good. So even if you put it back in your hand, it stays str or 10 strength up? Yeah. Is there something we want to get rid of over here? Or should we get that upgrade that allows us to have another trinket slot? Maybe, because we can use ointment with... Um, I mean, we don't really use the bear as much as we should. But we can use ointment with vengeance. The madrami vengeance. Mm. That's to true. get the uh, the unit that we want to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. And it'll keep his strength. Mm. So should we just take out the bear? Yeah. Just yeah. now we need all of our gold cards. So if Daga eats them. Cool. Ooh. Yeah, he didn't eat any of that last one. I don't know what makes him eat it. I don't know either. And it's only gold cards. Mm-hmm. Huh. I think it's well, just random. That was a, a good time. Hell yeah. We killed it. I even played a game and won. Let's go. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, no issues. <laughs> Fucking killed it. I think this deck is Soda's super good. Still live. That's fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah, the deck is actually ridiculous. It's so good. It just, you get two cards and we so win. So much fucking synergy. <laughs> like literally, all you need is Rayla. You don't mm -hmm. need any of the other ones because you can summon them with her. Mm-hmm. Like that card is is insane, um, but <clears throat> the uh, the story in this is great. I'm finding it harder and harder to make the choices, which is really good. It's kind of mm -hmm. how you want it. Um, yeah, I agree. yeah. Um, we do have uh, salty. We can both raid if you wanted to. All right. Uh, but that is going to do it on my end for now. Also guys. my end. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. And close this time. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for coming and hanging out for so long. Thanks, Matt, for fucking gaming with me again, dog. Yeah, dude, it's fun. I really fun like this game and it made me want to play Witcher 3, which is what I'm doing now, instead of playing Red Dead, like I should be. <laughs> well, you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs>
but uh you're you guys are done for the day right uh probably we may or may not be live tomorrow we have to do a lot of computer stuff to get everything set up for sunday so okay not well sure. um if we if you guys aren't live with smash tomorrow see you all sunday and then me and you and spence and d will be back tuesday for something mm -hmm. we'll, we'll something something um and yeah i mean we me and d might be live tonight we'll see i mean we'll definitely be live we just have no fucking idea what we're playing <laughs> as of right now but uh yeah thanks thanks again man and right. uh let's raid celty yeah bye, bye everyone bye what love you